Wraith that haunts the village. Heard you can tell me about it. Oh, I, I saw her. Saw Jenny of the woods with my own eyes. Like I sees you now, Witcher. What did she look like? In detail, please try. Truth be told, I didn't see her too clearly. It, it were growing dim, see? And this pale shape loomed afore me, mist-like. I comes closer, and the cloud thickened, and something like a visage came out of the mist. What did you do? What do you think, me love? That I'd wait to see the wraith in full glory? Ran to the village to tell folk what I'd seen. I see. So she appeared to you just after twilight? Important clue, thanks. You take care now. She tore her dress. Somebody chase her. Oh. Couldn't outrun her pursuer. He stabbed her or slit her throat. Strange. Left the knife behind. Dried blood on it. Could come in handy. Drag the body through here. Clear trail. Lugged the body all the way to the woods. Buried it here. Shallow grave. Murderer must have been pressed for time. Something sticking out. A letter? seems to me. A night wraith. Alderman probably knew the girl. I had to ask him. <laughs> Greetings. What do ye want? Zula and Bakai. Did you know them? They must have lived in this village. Good God, he knows? Tis witchery. They disappeared, both of them, into thin air. We've not seen them a week now. I found the girl's grave and a letter. It's clear she rejected Bakai because she loved another. Zula and Ontan, aye. We thought they'd fled north to seek happiness there. Bakai departed round the same time. So that's to mean our Zul is the Wraith. Can't be. Such a good lass. And so pretty. Any idea where they used to meet? Well, can't say for sure. But the young'uns, they go to the clearing, mostly west of the village, past the fields. Zula. Good gods. That white one. No way I can hope to lift this curse. Gotta drive the Wraith away. Stand a chance if I can bind it to one spot for a while. The Night Wraith won't appear in daylight.
magic shutter. You're dead. Easy. Not at all. Greetings. What do ye want? Jenny of the Woods is gone. Got rid of her. <sighs> She'll not be back? No. I know how to dispatch Night Wraiths for good. Aye, of course. Your reward has agreed. Many thanks to ye, Master Witcher. Farewell. Then the parks, now the younger. Grim Reaper.
this be the witch man? Freak of nature. <laughs> a bit more interesting things, about the job. Seems you've got a problem. Some graves get dug up. If that were only it. Every now and then, a vile beast would come round the graveyard, devour what's fresh, then move on. Started again not long past. Thought to myself, just don't step out after dark and lock your door tight. But then a young'un went missing. From the graveyard? Nay, from the village little snotter wouldn't have come here of his own. And I'd heard something like a whimper in the night. Didn't bother to come out, see what was happening? Think me daft. If you've monsters, you need a witcher. See if I can learn what's out there. the kid from the village though still might be worth looking at those graves dug up no tools used though Recently. Smell of cadaverines old though. Overripe. Wonder where the stench will lead me. Sure chose an unusual place for its lair. Creature can use tools. Means it's sapient. Or just plain clever. 
Somebody's doing some cooking. This, it's a human femur. A child's. Human skulls in a magic circle. Monsters clearly using them. Drawing strength from the place of power. Gotta be a grave hag. Collected the skulls to draw the power through them. Confidence grew enough it started prowling the village. Need to take the skulls. Force it to go back to the cemetery. That ought to there. it off. Now to lay low in the cemetery. It's likely to crawl out after dark. There she is, right on cue. about the job. And? It's taken care of. It was a grave hack that dug up the graves and snatched the child. Aye. So, how is the little tyke? Child's dead. Oh, tis as I thought. What about my reward? Oh, I've not forgotten, eh? Here you go. Thanks much for your help. Take care. Do you sniff around here? Looking for work. Wait, wait. Two swords, eyes like slits. You are a witcher, is that so? Geralt of Rivia. I have not heard the name. But you will find work here, this I know. Found your notice. Ah, yes. You witchers are said to be excellent trackers. If this is true, you may indeed be able to aid me. Some days ago, I sent a unit of scouts to the wood across the lake. None has returned. Find my men, bring them back to camp. I will pay you well, 
as it stands in the notice and not a copper more, mind you. We must have order in the ledgers as well. Why'd your men go to the woods? Any specific reason? None. A patrol, as the code ordains. Local peasants don't exactly see you as liberators. Say what you mean, Witcher. Small unit, isolated area. Might have gone to your men with pitchforks. A handful of yokels in ragged foot wrappings cut down a unit of Imperial scouts. What else? Perhaps a dragon ate them. A blurred yoke. Fine. I'll look into it. Begin your search across the lake, where we saw them cross. And good luck, Witcher. dragged through here. Bodies. Bodies strangely contorted. This one was poisoned. What's that stench? Also some bare feet. Strange. Need to follow these deeper into the woods. No guardians camped here. Left in a hurry. No guardians prince. Let a group of barefoot prisoners through here. Guardian's Prince. Let a group of barefoot prisoners through here.
Greetings, Quartermaster. Honor and glory, Geralt. How can I help? Found your soldiers, meaning their bodies. Female wyvern killed them. They wandered into her hunting ground. A wyvern? Blue the pissed. Your men must have provoked her. I see. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward, as in the notice, for fail. Still wondering about the camera. Been a while since I played cards with a subject of his Imperial Majesty. Game of Gwent. Let's lay him down.
smashed. You'll stay clear of that fog. Careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. Assume you put up the notice in Down Warren. Aye, twere me. Good to know someone reads them. Paid a scribe a dozen eggs to write it up. I can help. For a fee. Course! Why, even an ox don't pull a plow for free. All right, time I got to work. Where'll I find this monster? Start south of here. But beware, bad poxy air hangs o'er the marsh. Stings your eyes, claws at your throat. Claws so hard ye could choke. No ordinary fog this. The odor. Metallic almost. individuals feed here. Strange. No tracks around the corpses. Tracks masked with magic. This is getting interesting. Didn't even have time to pull out his weapon. Monster must have been concealed. Surprised him. Guess I'm dealing with an old foglet hiding behind an illusion.
any tidings. Monster's dead. Fog's dispersed. Ha! Village folk will be content. Give him cause to celebrate. Well, you've earned your reward. Take it and fare you well. The forest for brushwood yesterday. Do not hear their huntsmen. Oh, I hear about the contract. Any idea what this monster is? Nay, but proper huge it must be. Slaughtered no less than a dozen wolves, ripped their guts out, but left lots uneaten. Means malice rules it, makes it kill. Howls and bellows, nights something fierce. Folk are afeard to venture into the woods. Though hunger grips the village. Fine, I'll take care of it. Fortune smiled upon us when it brought you here. Good hunting to ye. Poor from the cutthroats. Who I ask? Hey,
monster wiped out the whole pack. Big. Really big. against the trunk. Scent's still there. Recently, wonder what killed it. Paw prints. If I'd lasted a while. Another trail. Track's too small for a fiend, though. Both lost loads of blood. It's a blood caked fur. Second beast was a different color. That short. It's gotta be. Probably competed for territory with a fiend. Hmm. Have to lure him here somehow. attention. Five miles away. Beast's sure to show. Just gotta wait in the cave. Thank <laughs> you. 
I? The Chort was prowling the nearby forest, found itself competing for territory with a fiend, so it turned aggressive. A Chort? A fiend? Why they be bothering us? Think more'll come? Think they've done made a pact to take our village? Doubt it, but I'll be sure to keep my eyes open, see if there's anything else out there. Cheers then, Witcher. Here, take the purse. All the folk of the village chipped in. Thanks. Take care now. Standing Jew, I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor Maid Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste. For I have 99 left after you. Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Well, uh, why? Um. Then swear. Swear! Maid Bilberry's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah, I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend. Stand and fight. Let's dance. You know, I yield. Had enough? Yes, luck stood with you. But, but the next time we meet... Challenge me again. Raise your hand. Draw your sword, look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see. Beonerton, village from the notice. Necrophages, great and quiet.
soul in sight. Something evil's been here. Necrophages appeared after. Necrophages tore the body apart. Can't say what killed him, though. Sword wounds. Fire still burning. This happened recently. Somebody's well off. Especially for Velen, a Leshen's head. Chopped off with a sharp knife. Well, well. Somebody beat me to it. Died without a fight. Butchered. Gut sliced open. Probably died defending its owner. Blade pierced her back between vertebrae. Severed her spinal cord. She couldn't move. Bled to death. First cut severed the aorta. Second hit the femoral artery. He died quickly. Didn't put up a fight. something. Silver chain snapped, ripped it off someone. Shit. Stop. A doll and a child's footprints. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. Calm down. Just want to talk to you. Leave me be! Kill her! Murder her! I got it wrong. I'm... It's Calais! Same as him! That's because I'm a witcher. I kill monsters. Said the same, Zatan! And you see what he done? Did he have two swords on his back? This doll yours, maybe? It is. He got a name? Master Freckleface. Hmm, <laughs> pretty. G give him to me, please. Doubt Master Freckleface would be much help on the path, so... Here. Now, think you could tell me what happened here? I need to know. Poor oh, Woods. They was haunted. Some spook. Uncle Silvermere said we best fetch a witcher. So one came. Look, lost like you. But there were evil in his eyes. He bought 
towards the spook's head, Sept. Uncle Silvermere will not be about something. They yelled, and they cursed. And then, he went to the barn, and, and... <laughs> I know the rest. He, he let me go. I don't know why. And then he went that way, towards the circle where we leave gifts for the gods. I hid in the barn. Found this lion in the A. School of the cat. Thanks. You've been a big help. What'll you do? Got any family around here? Miati lives in Orton. I'll take you to her. But first I gotta see to this bad man. Stay put and keep quiet. Understood? Sit tight, kid. If you went off towards the circle, that'd be the place to start. The stone circle. Need to look around. Prince, barely visible. Must be him. Way to give me my medallion? Thanks. Craft Solidarity is alive and well. <laughs> but our craft's reputation is on its last legs. Folk won't easily forget that massacre. Occupational hazard. Could have happened to any one of us. Well, what are you still doing here? I want to chat first, then we'll see. Take your seat. I'll stand. Now talk. Honorton, what happened? Come on, you know what happened. Know what they wanted to pay me for the lesson? Go on, guess. Fifty. Ha <laughs> ha, if only. Twelve. Understand, pal? Twelve fucking crowns. Barely covers my potion ingredients. What did you agree to? That several times over. But when it came time to pay up... You know the routine. Oh, good sir, me young'uns are starving. There's a war on. Gods have mercy. Show some pity. Rings a bell. But that's no reason to kill. I'm not finished. told them I wouldn't show pity. And if I didn't see gold, they'd wish they had the lesson back. They got these grim looks. Then the alderman spoke. Calm now, Master Witcher. Me and the lads, we hid some gold in the barn so's the Baron's men wouldn't take it. Come, you'll get your coin right quick. I fell for it, like a fool. One of them chattered on while another jabbed me in the back with a pitchfork. How the hell did you survive that? Pitchfork wounds are bad. Know that all too well. I turned at the last instant. 
Prongs went in shallow, at an angle. Missed my lungs. I admit, I lost my temper. Lost it bad. I'm used to shit bounties, to the cheating, to them begging me for help, and then spitting as I pass. But murder me? Just to save a few crowns? I'm supposed to protect Horsons like that? So I drew steel, and didn't sheathe it till the ground was slick with blood. The girl. Why'd you spare her? Because... it doesn't matter. Wouldn't have asked if it didn't. Talk. Reminded me of my sister. How I remember her from... Just before they took me away to the school of the cat. How is she now? Died about ten years ago. Of old age. Well, we've had our little heart to heart. Witcher to Witcher. What now? Ultimately, it's not my job to judge you. That's it? Not gonna lecture me? Make me promise to mend my ways? They call me the Butcher of Blaviken, for good reason. I know how it is. Sometimes... Sometimes heads just roll. Wait. I'm no cheap prick like those hayseeds. I owe you something. Here, directions to my stash. Take what you want. Thanks. No, thank you. Good luck on the path, Wolf. Get back to the kid before something else sniffs her out. Promise not to pull my hair. I promise. Then hop on up. Auntie! Auntie Lucy! Millie, what are you doing here, you naughty girl? I'll explain. You run along and play a bit, all right? There was a massacre in Honorton. No survivors. Well, except her. The gods. What happened? A bandit attack? A monster killed them. A lesion. They posted a contract, but I arrived too late. It was a lovely village. Good folk lived there, good and true. Oh, it is tragic. Tragic indeed. You'll look after her? Truth be told, you'd do better to take her with you. Funny. 
Used to be folk were afraid we'd take their kids. Used to be folk weren't so in need. Got four of me own grandkids. Used to be six, but we buried two last winter. Hard to live off naught but bark soup. Take this. Use it for food, and only food. If I come back and see you drinking... So much. The gods reward ye, Master Witcher, a thousand blessings. Time I was on my way. No? But... but why? Witcher's lot in life. Always on the road, on the path. Will you come back and see me sometime? Hope so. Take care, kid. Millie! Come, child. We'll buy a bit of flour. Your aunt will whip up some pancakes. Sound good to ye? Eager. Go ahead then, check for trap. Fucking bastard! Right, me lovers, to work! Pathetic. Piss off, or you still got legs and bollocks. Foglet, ghoul, grave hag. Wonder why he didn't turn in these trophies. Maybe they tried to cheat him then, too.
cock in Mr. Baron's mouth. Will you join the tournament? Yeah. Hey? A bit of honest fist fighting to clear the lungs and bowels. Though I warn you, <laughs> Jordan can be fierce. Likes to bite. Get me? So, what'll it be? All right. Let's see just how fierce Jonah is. Feast your eyes on an epic clash between Jonah and the Drifter. Drifters defeated Jonah. Could this be a new champion of Velen in the making? Who can tell? You have still Smithy from the Inn at the Crossroads to defeat, then Fish Cooper from Lindenville. I'll leave you to guess what he does. What do they call you? Know how to fight? Geralt. And yes. <laughs> then enter the lists, my friend. I'm ready. Let's fight. Good folk. Fish gulpers finally found a foe. Right here, right now, on the field of honor, he'll face none other than Geralt of Rivia, the uh, Hammer! Spare me a minute before the fight, Master, please! Cut to your mugs, plain as day. What am I beside ye? I just want to live. These days, streams are bereft, no fish for me to gulp. And they's given a sack of flour to the winner. Show some pity. Take a fall for me. <laughs> Not about to lose on purpose. If you want to win, you gotta beat me. If I ever have a son, I'll name him Geralt. What? Lost your nerve? Yeah. Yes, we might have known. The Witcher took Fish Gulper and Fish Plowed his job. Near warm my heart to see him renovate his head. You've still Smithy to defeat. No reason to wait. Used to be wagon shoot on market days, loaded with all. Here's village Let's champion. Be the witch, Look to me like a fierce fisted fighter. Just right for our tournament. It's your chance to slap around some yokels, win some coin for the pleasure. You in? I'm ready to fight. One and all, hear this. Betting on the next brawl will begin in mere moments. The witch will face Smithy. 
will pound his gob like he pounds hot iron ingots. <laughs> well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Not bad. Might be champion yet. <laughs> if it's the reigning champion you seek, head to Crow's Perch and ask for the sergeant. There, the hound. Got any vodka? This be the witch, man. I'll tell you. you I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> I'm ready. Ha! Huh? Look who we have here! The Baron know this is how his men amuse themselves? Baron knows all about it. He even bets in the fight sometimes. Bets like a dumb fuck. Always loses. Let's start. All right. Come to Daddy. Shut up and fight. Lost your nerve? What a fight! Let it be known by one and all that the Witcher has defeated the sergeant! and become champion of all venom. If you've not had your fill, you'll find worthy pugilists elsewhere. Plenty of them in Novigrad. Plenty in the Skelliger Isles. You. That one. What's your business? Bloody Baron know you're here? I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Let's lay him down.
Man's only as good as his word. Take the card. I fear Velen's short on worthy opponents. Boat builder in Oriton might be one. There was also an old soothsayer. Lived east of here, near the windmill last I heard. There's a lad about as reasonable as an old mare, but he plays a devilish hand. In fact, I don't rightly know that you're ready for him. Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been at it 20 years now. Master the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? Sounds great. Can you make a suit like that? No, but find someone who can and I'll gladly meet them. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. Stay in the castle with a pouring like this. The chance the vermin will stay in the castle with a pouring like this. Geralt. Thanks for everything. Dribbling.
You going north, master? Why do you ask? Uh, I thought you could see if anything's happened to our men. They've been gone a while. What do you need? Merchant caravan came through not long past. Hired some of our boys to guide him to the bridge. They were due back yesterday. Fine. Keep my eyes open. My brother Tomil led him. Talk to him when you find them. Clever man. Not like the rest of them, eh? Expecting me. Come closer. We know each other? Not personal, like, though I've seen ye many times. I've a gift. I see the future. Yours as well. But not for free, I guess. I don't ask much. If you've a bite to eat. Wanted to ask you. I, I play Gwent. And I, we can play for the prize card in my collection. You a mind reader? The good gods did bless me with some precognition. I say some, because it's selective-like, and he applies to mundane matters. Not a bird will ever shit on me, but all my foresights never helped me win a Gwent. Let's lay him out. Where to find the finest slippery jacks this fall, but how to play and not lose, that I'll never know. A beautiful win. Take this card, you deserve it. Know of any others who play Gwent? You've but one opponent worth your while in Velen, in the village of Midcops. They calls him Haddie. He's a tyke, barely a handful of summers to him, but don't let that fool ye. Oh, 
You're back. Here. Thank ye. A fine offering. Well worth a foretelling. <sighs> All right. Let's hear it. I see a white wolf. He enters an endless cavern. He sings a hymn of madness and despair, summoning that which is not dead, for he cannot die. That's not the future. Lived through that, and you probably heard about it in some ballad. My third eye grows foggier the older I become. But if you bought me some dragon's root... Rare plant. Rare indeed. But it did once grow in a cave southeast of here. Fine. I'll see what I can do. see the future. Back. Got what you asked for. Thank ye. Now I need a moment. forward towards a solitary tower midst a blizzard. He follows the swallow, yet the swallow does not heed the wolf's howls, soaring higher and higher, for it knows tis its last flight. As to others say, so shall it be. 
Look for the signs. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of the elder blood of hen care of a planted seed. If Ling's prophecy. Leave me be. Go. Go now. Filling your coin for us, village boy, village boy. Build your boats in pine wood? Of course not. Winch dragged me some pints so I'd make her a cradle. Boat business not booming? Not well at all. Ain't no fish. Heard you're a good boat right. And an even better card player. You wanna play? Always ready for a round. Rules say the card's mine. Oi, tis indeed. Cards, believe you're good enough to try your luck against Haddy. Folk laugh at him because he's young and a bit dim, but word is, he weren't afraid to beat the Baron himself. Just ain't true. Haddy don't know how to plow or sow, nor catch no fishes. But he sure can play cards. 
So I. Addy plays Gwen. So let's play. Last, it happens. Take your praise. It was innocent as a bunch of lilies, but they're bloody bad. And you shan't still know you have the skin in exchange for your ass. As long as it's short and to the point, because I don't wag me tongue for jollies. They call me Radko. I arrange the horse races here. You must have heard talk. Wanna try? Say the word. Don't sod off. Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. Long as you're here, come sunset and bring gold for the betting. Ah, finally here. Rules are simple. Choose who you're gonna run against, make your wager, then ride to Black Bow and back. First the winner, second the bleeding cunt. Got it? So, who are you gonna race? Struttering Mama Mamatko, Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? I'll take Stuttering Matt. Yeah, 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 you'll s s say. I'll. 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 Ah, fuck it. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. Faster. Oh, 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 
Nice. You seem to know orchids as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. All right. Who else is racing? So, what'll it be? Gonna race or not? Wanna sign up? Don't need no... Good day, grey one. So, who are you gonna... Let's see how that iron ass holds up. Come on, hands. Spent half me life on horseback. Other half on the backs of ponies. You can't beat me. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. Mount up! Faster. Faster, beat you faster. Got a ripe apple for you when we're through. Nice. You seem to know orchids as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. All right. <laughs> Racing. So, what'll it be? Gonna race or not? Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. Long as you're here, come sunset and bring gold. Good day, grey one. So, who are you gonna ride? Ride against Black Bogdan this time. Take you for a ride, all right. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. Mount up! Get here. Nice. You seem to know orchids as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. 
And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. What's the matter? A monster bothering you? Nay, a ghost. Can you tell me anything more? You see, Jackamar haunts my dreams. Jackamar's my husband, or was till he died at war. He stands by me headboard and wails. So many years apart, I've such woe in the beyond. Come join me. I say, I'll come, Jackamar, but when the gods summon me, not before. Then he says, leave your wedding ring by me grave. It'll make the white and lighter. And I'd leave it, for the wood's not so terrifying. So, I thought to myself, maybe you. Sure it's your husband's ghost? You saying I can't tell me own man? I'm old, but I ain't gone daft yet. Not what I meant. There's wraiths that deceive, assume the form of dead loved ones. Troes, for instance, or dunnies. Nay, I'm sure this is Jackamore. In my dreams, he spoke of our nuptials, how we danced at Bellatane, how the Redanians killed him at Rind. Rind? You've either mixed something up or you're very old indeed. Battle happened 80 years ago. Oh, why? Well, Slip of the tongue, meant to say the Battle of Rivia. Be glad to help. Where's Jackamar buried? A little cemetery near Blackbow, in a grave neath the old tree. Here, take me ring. Once you've laid it down, come to me for your reward. We live in a hut in the middle of the village with my granddaughter, Lessie. Where the hell? Hmm. Strange. Must be Jackamar's grave. That's done. White one. What's your business? Wait, chair. What brings ye? Lessie, right? Wanted to talk to your grandma. To my... But she's been dead for years. Guess I talked to a ghost. Why wasn't she buried alongside her husband? I can't say for certain. I was a little last then. But me mum told me that shortly before Grand died, she learned Grandad had kept lovers on the side. She had no desire to lie beside him. Seems she changed her mind. She wanted something to connect her and her husband in the afterlife. Asked me for help. That's hard to believe. But you've an honest look about you. If you helped Gran, you deserve a reward. Here, take much. 
but I'm afraid it'll have to do. Time has passed, then the pops, now the younger. Grim Reaper must be having a lark. Ever heard of preventive arse rooming? Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils? Who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh! A man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the Peller awaits. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay, Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess, my goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. This way, I think. This way, Your Grace. Come on, 
Take you back to the Peller. Misses you something awful. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Where the hell'd you go? Bell for you to follow. Nowhere in sight, nowhere to be found. Why not even a give us a rest? Give us, give, 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 give us a rest. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Can we talk about Anna and Tamara now? Know where they might be. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. Do. She miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind, but Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. 
Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the White Wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year. But we'll find a way all the same. I hear you right. You mentioned forefathers' eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefathers' Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. White Wolf. Could use a few potion and... So long. White Wolf could use a few.
so long. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked them blood him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the wonder fish, the kindlings, thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. What are you doing out here alone? We's not alone. We's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You can see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tets. They do. I heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Anyone else here, besides you? Meaning who? Someone who might have seen the woman. Like the six-eyed tree? Tree slapped all year. But there is Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss him. Seen him in the woods. No one has. Just talking to the kids. Ask them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, it was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter, and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm? A bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone.
can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. But you've got to do something for us, too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Is there something else you need or want? Ooh. I want something sweet. And me, too. Oh, fruits. Give us a treat, and we'll help you. Here's some treats. Yum. Never eaten nothing like this before in my life. Gran, Gran, Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse. Gran, come. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? You're not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, he saw his burrow, but Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, because then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Because... He's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you.
to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucker? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? This where you live? Cozy Burrow. Good location. Must know about everything that happens in the bog. Doesn't bother you having monsters for neighbors? You know the kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid, not gonna hurt anyone. What's wrong, can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Can't understand you. Try to explain it somehow. Can't understand you. Try to explain it somehow. Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess.
Searching for the witch Siri quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the Elven Mage, yet the Wild Hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. close to me. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb.
Peter Piper picked Prince Proxima a pack of pickle peppers by the pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, cause word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me.
three thieves thought they'd draw the throne throughout Thursday. <laughs> Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazing, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You. You got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Can you take me to the crowns? Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. This is not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Ginny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well... Since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. Disturb our rest, woman. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girl. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen herd maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. 
Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A dagger? What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. village. Aye, oh, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, oh, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied all. Fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. When did all this start? Three years back. I remember, it was a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled the hair from the trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands, and the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folk stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Be 
gone. A voice. Come you too close. I know when you come. The powers that protect me, they sense when you come. Show yourself. I want to talk. Hmm. Magic. <gasps> A place of power. Why have you come? Why spill this blood? Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? Who are you? I abandoned my circle, where I kept the balance. The crones killed me. My Never heard of a druid circle in Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of vows, helplessly sliding or rustling. Must know the crowns pretty well. They are Velen's curse. They hear all through severed ears. They weave hair and twist life. They take their strength from the broth of human flesh. Why did they kill you? The crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. I was attacked. This is my prison. A fortress besieged. Murderers I await, and my forest protects me. Murderers? Murderous sisters. Killed my body. Now my soul they hunt, for I defy them. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here, in fetters of magic. I wander endlessly, a labyrinth of thee. The children, I know all. I know what awaits them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I can be a gale, a gallop unchained. I shall save them. Only I can. I think the kids from the meadow are in danger. The sisters took them. They shall not return. Where'd they take them? I can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no rules. To 
art ceremony. They shall all die. Let them be saved. The crones, what do you know about them? The sisters are older than the oldest trees. Melon is their realm. All life here serves them. The sisters live concealed. You will not find them. They hear all. You cannot hide. I can't decide just yet. You must come back. Free me. I beg you. Beware, my sentry. Be stunned guard still. I'm back. I've been waiting. You've returned. Your decision. I long to be free once more. If you can save the orphans from the meadow, I'll help you. I will find them. Free them. Open the door of my cage. Blood is my escape. A rite you must perform. With the black of raven feathers, the white of my bones, and the swift steed. A mare wild and free in meadows pasture court. Dark as a bottomless well. Black as the depths of night. Such a beast, no other. Gather these and bring them here. Got some raven feathers. Find my remains and bring me about. A wind born a steed, a black squall to. Why do we need a black horse? The beast and I shall be as one. As when I lived, we shall be a gale. Nothing to stop us. A wild steed from meadows moist. Where will I find your remains? My bones. They lie in a solitary mound nearby, due west. Gather what I need to free you, then return. Gather and return to the Illumix's depths, to the tree's rotten heart. Pierce my heart. Let blood flow to be born again. I must first be consumed. Go now and return through the passage I have opened.
Don't seem human to me. Let's go! Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost. Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon.
There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on, our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for your done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. The woman who cares for the kids. She's a debt to pay. She is here by choice. She's insane. She knew what our pact entailed when she made it. We helped her. She promised to serve. Now she bears our mark. Belongs to us. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. You looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? I'm impressed. Polymorphism, a rare talent. Oh, I'd suck every last drop out of you. Ah, to be woven together with you? I'd be your best and last. Mm, not what I came for. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given we never break. The girl, mousy blonde, that's what they call it. Thin as a nail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew 
someone's supposed to be alive. We let beast in prayers show the omens. We would glimpse her likeness. A mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood. The soul seed that would burst into flame. Tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You'll return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die. But it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die, she <laughs> see you and some light.
Another one? Be God! You witches are trouble. Village has suffered a... No! Ye deaf? Be gone, you blasted mutant. Where's all this hate for witchers coming from? Where? I'll tell you where. One of yous came here, ate his fill for two days while he thunk things over. Then he says he'd do us a favor and kill our monster. What's your price? I asked. But he said he wanted no coin, for he saw we'd none to offer. Awfully noble of him. Thought so too, at first. Said for pay he'd take something I had that did not yet know about. Then he left, and here the door swung shut behind him. My last started wailing. What's these tears? I asked. Oh, I can't bear it, she says. I'll kill the horse and... Go on. Fool girl wept that some beast was gonna kill the witcher dead. He howling for a mutant, I said. Then she told me, told me, Bugger had bewitched her with his evil eye, seduced her, and that were to be his prize. A witcher's bastard. If he's really a witcher, you don't have a thing to worry about. We can't sire children. Thank the gods any more of you and we'd be lost. But this one, he beguiled me daughter, rutted her neath me own roof. That I can't forgive. Tell me where he is. Take care of this for you. Cemetery. Went there to slay the monster. Hope the corpse eater guts that fornicated freak. Got a problem? Send for Geralt of Rivia. Thank you, thank you. You came just in time. A moment more and that ghoul would have filleted me like a flounder. Actually, not sure I should have intervened. Your combat style, it's new to me. Should have just observed. Where'd you complete your training? School of the Snail? But then where'd you get your wolf's head medallion? You're... You're the real thing? A witcher? Mm hmm What gave it away? That I didn't wet my trousers at the sight of one lousy ghoul? Answer the question. Where'd you get the medallion? I bought it. From a traveling peddler. Oh, the villagers are coming. Don't tell him about me, please. Monster slain! Oi, what's this? Two witchers? We only hired one. Only one witcher here. This man's a charlatan. Travels from village to village cheating people. No, no, it's not like that. I can explain everything I can. He's a crook, a fraud. Oh, we've laws for this kind, special punishments. Thank ye for exposing him, Master Witcher. Ought to take him to the village elder. Of course. Elder can decide what to do with this scoundrel. Last cheat came through. Fellow pay him with shaved coins. We lopped his hands off. I'm sure your elder takes care to make the punishment suit the crime. Ought to start by taking his sword, tossing his medallion in the fire. Farewell.
rats, why did he need them? Lady Rogers, better to... Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage, he says, bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now, tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I gather you'd like a look. Very much so. you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama, you've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Serard, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. So the peasants who went to the island for food his lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh-huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think, your image, that's all you care about. The point is, listen, I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some bull with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Kyle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how, but they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. 
Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikaia once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided Rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. They're hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. So, where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the elven mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the elves used them. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Phi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Them mines who took the witches. Oh, yeah. 
Wait, so we have one. Hey, Paul! Hey, Paul! Oh, captive in some must be hey, Paul. woods. Must be suffering. <laughs> Both. Aye. Ah. They were fed oh. not for souffles and Remember quail. the times perch? you barely... A witcher. And not a second too soon. Understand you have a contract for me. Oi. It's my brother, Mickle. Been a week now since he took the women of Bellows into the hills. The uh, women of Bellows? Bellows were a rich village. Till the war passed through. Huts were burned down, larders cleared out. All the men folk conscripted. Women were left to fend for themselves, without food nor shelter. No one wanted them. Redanians wouldn't let them into Novigrad. So Mickle took them to the old mines. Get them out of the rain, at least. And I've not had word from him since. All right, I'll look for your brother. How will I recognize him? Shouldn't be hard. He was the only lad in a group of women. Corpses aren't always in a condition where I can determine the sex. Corpses? Take it back. They got lost, is all. But if worse comes to worst, well, he had calfskin ankle boots, work of Master Clogs. Told him not to wear them into the hills. He'd only ruin them. But he was so proud of them. Think I know enough. Thanks. Hey, Paul! Hey, Paul! <laughs> no! Oh. Oh. Blowing, I know. Wonderful. Heard you can get food from the Baron's men. to tracks.
shoe bearing Master Clog's mark. All that's left of the body. Ericus, the venomous one.
Void. All of use. for you, because you look to me eyes like a witcher. Am I right? What do you need? Need for my men to finish their work unharmed. But we got corpse seekers coming out all the while. Rid us of them, and we'll give you a share. Deal.
Thank you, sir. Saved our ride, you did. Here, take it. Your pay, and a share of the horse and who forced us to dig up the dead. Godspeed now. That's no corpse either. I ain't on the soul. What are you staring at? Got to hurry. Before the corpse eaters one by. Greetings. I have bad news. An Eric has killed your brother. If it's any comfort, I avenged him. Comfort? Huh. Of course it's no comfort. And I told Michael, why are you so eager to help strangers? Sit your arse down, or there'll be misfortune. Well, why are you still standing there? Can't get your fill of others' misfortune. No, I prefer porridge and gravy like everybody else. Pay me and I'll go buy some. I'd have paid you if you brought Mickle back alive. Risked my life. Think I deserve something for that. Here. Now piss off. Fill in your coin first, Billy. Which, uh, John Vernon, remember? He saved me from the drowners. It was copperless then. Now, nah, why, well, my purse is bursting. Mm hmm. With coin that belonged to the refugees. Vengeance tastes sweet. I thought you'd come for your reward. I'll gladly pay, mind you. You've saved my life, no two ways about it. But if you're looking for a bruising, well, you'll find it. Coin doesn't stink. Give it here. There you are. May it multiply in your purse. Now go.
Good folk, hi! Huh? What do you want? Hear about the notice. Got monster trouble? Trouble? <laughs> Good one. We're not having trouble. We're up shit fucking creek. Some shaggy fuck knows what sitting in the woods attacking every plow and transport that dares take the high road. When they're out of bolts, arrows, rations, all around, fucked. Sent a patrol out. Looks never came back. So the job's simple. Bring me the fucker's head, and I'll give you gold. As much as the notice says, I'm not gonna haggle. Quartermaster won't budge. But I can throw in a pass that'll get you across the pontar. So, deal? Sounds fair. See what I can do. Bloody Baron's called what he is because he's a beastly madman. No, no, no. Gurgles <laughs> demon blood every morning. Enough. Don't run away, <whistles> Move it!
booted bear. Either someone stole the cargo after the monster attack, or our monster collects military paraphernalia. Claude and Nod. Necrophages fed here, but all the wounds they inflicted are post-mortem. Footprints. A survivor? Either that or the monster's a humanoid. Look like claw marks, but here, an arrow. Shaft's broken off right at the skin. Something's fishy here. I should follow these tracks. Hmm. Might want to look around some. One step more, and you'll gain a new hole in your head, Dwan. What do you seek here? Speak! Need to talk to your commander. It's important. I don't trust you. Figured as much when I saw your bow aimed at me. Still have me in your sight. And I'm just not prone to doing stupid things. I can assure you of that. I'll be assured when you hand me your weapons. Come on, your swords. Drop them, and I'll take you to Venosio. Fine. Lead the way. That gun. Strange. No monsters trouble us. Might not trouble you, but the Redanians are convinced something prowls these woods. Hired me to kill it. Well, they're mistaken. It's not the first time. There's no monster here. Your work is done. This isn't a game. Men have died. Soldiers have died. Radovid's soldiers, serving the man who torments the Enshe from the Great Sea to the Blue Mountains. Soldiers who joined in massacres, tortured our brothers, raped our sisters. I shan't cry for them and will not stop attacking those transports. We must eat, same as you. So you've a choice. Leave now and forget what you've seen, or die. Do what you will. I'm not about to get involved. Give him his things, and toss in something for those transports. Wise decisions should be rewarded. Va fail.
You're back, finally. Did you get the beast? There's no beast in the woods, just Scoia'tael. Scoia'tael, you say? Thought we rid ourselves of those vermin. So, you got them? Elves aren't monsters, so no. But I won't cry if anything happens to them. Ha! <laughs> Course you won't. A good non-human's a dead non-human, as my father would say. Can't give you no reward. You didn't do the job. But here's the pass I promised. For informing the proper authorities. We'll make quick work of them. From your store by the bridge across the pond tower. Got goods for the army mostly. Well, then they can exit. No regret your mom ever squirted you out. Kill him! Strip him! Then dump him in a ditch! <laughs>
Let's dance. Show me what you got. worth even less thank you witcher where would i be without you your guards run off louts didn't get the chance thank the gods it's them you cut down waited until we passed the last settlement then attacked and to think i made sure the scoundrels were well armed we stood no chance against them hiring thugs not a good idea these days need someone you can trust to guard a caravan Cannot afford to enlist anyone permanently. Where'd you find these men? Former Temerian soldiers, they claim to be. Of all people, I thought they'd know the trade. Knew it all too well, in a way. Thank you. Please, this was to be theirs at our destination. Now it's yours. Just 
mistake. Winds howling. Run, Roach. Someone walked through the spilled wine. Someone was running. Fast. Panicked. Prints are deep, and suddenly... Claw marks. Somebody was bound. Rope was cut quickly, with a dull blade. Somebody was bound. Swooped Rope down. was cut quickly. Judging by the claw blade. marks, gotta be a wyvern or a fork tail. Shattered the wine barrel. But seems the people managed to escape. Kedwani. Smell will linger for hours. lead to the cave. Caught one just before he reached the cave. Boy, Creve, Your eyes. They shine so in the dark. Thought at first it was a lizard coming. Thing that attacked. How big was it? Well, too big to squeeze in here. It were huge. And those teeth, ugh, we barely escaped. Wonder if it killed the traders. Poor son sure had it coming. Important thing now's to get out of here. Will ye help, Master Witcher? Which one of you's Tamil? That one over there. Beast got him. But how do you know? His brother asked me to come and find you. Tell me what happened. Some traders hired us. To protect him along the high road, they said. Before we knew it, they'd bound us like calves. Why? They were kind enough to explain and real precise that we were necessary sacrifice for progress and trade. So they left us, tied to the wagon as beast bait. Weren't long for a huge lizard appeared, as if its master had whistled. Monsters must have learned by now that army supplies travel down this road. Oi. Clever one, the lizard. Cut us off straight away. Left us to crawl in here. Poor Tommy, he didn't make it. 
need to tend to the monster. Doubt I'll have to look far. Wyverns like to herd their prey towards their nests. We'll wait here. Wouldn't want to get in your way. Sorry, Wyvern. Lucky me. Somewhere, more will spawn. Need to destroy the nests. Draconid nest. Need to destroy it. Wyvern. Don't usually come this big. It's feasted plenty, I reckon. Attacking those traveling the road. What do they call ye, master? Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia. It'll be a tale to tell the young'uns.
Greetings. I found your friends. I have spoken to them. They're too damn bad Tom Hill didn't make it. Here, take this. Thanks. Farewell. I do. I... I have a gift for you. Because Mummy always said if someone's nice, you've got to thank them. If only more people believed that. We best be going. Auntie says I'm not just stray far from home. Wise words. Be careful. And thanks for the gift. Buying or just perusing? Show me what you've got on.
buy-in or just per... Show me what you've got.